welcome, thanks for coming. And it's not hailing outside like it's supposed to be, so that's a relief. <laughs> the show, obviously, some of you may know, to the, the James Wallace Art Award in, in New York last, well, it was actually 2011 now, but I spent six months in Williamsburg, which is Hipsterville. Um, and it, the whole idea of it was the fact that um, everyone catches the thing called the L train, which is, which is the train that takes you from Manhattan to Williamsburg. It's actually a Brooklyn sort of direct line. It's the cleanest, it's the tidiest, it's the most um, high-tech hipster line there is. Um, and everyone wears the glasses, which is what the hipster's kind of about. They have this, it's like punk was, you know, back in the... So, I mean, I find it quite interesting that these people try so hard to be very different, but they all have the same generic, big, geeky, black rim glasses. The way I usually do it is it's, it's portraiture from the inside out. So the stories that are in there are giving you an idea of what the story is about the person. It's a subculture. They were responsible for Occupy Wall Street. There's also a Time magazine article on the hipster. Um, and it's just this whole movement of these young, uh, they call them dot-com generations. They're really up on their tech. They've got all the modern technology. It's, it's this well-off kind of younger generation that's really noticeable in a community. This whole show is meant to be fun. I mean, the whole, if you look at some of the imagery, it's actually quite fun. Tell us about the hair, that's very stylish. <laughs> if you look at um, sort of early Greek and Roman sculptures, yeah, the hair and the beards mm -hmm. are actually that way. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's, it's just an easy way to indicate hair for me. But um, using the metallic colours is actually sort of a new thing that's only happened in the last couple of years. I'm putting the metallic on the ears, which actually, when you change the light, mm. you do get different aspects to the work, which is great. I mean, I like that idea of it constantly changing. Can you tell us again how you actually do that from the other side, back to front? The best way to do it is actually to show you the back of one. So that's the front, obviously, and that's what the back looks like. So all the text and all the line goes down first. Everything that's an outline goes down first. Then you do the highlights. So anything that's white or a lighter colour goes to second. And then you just build up like you do printmaking. So it's like re-registering. You kind of just register all the time. And then the final um, background colour just gets painted over the whole thing. So it's like almost like colouring in. You've got lines that you um, follow. An outline you follow. And then you uh, just sort of colour it in. The work gets handled a lot. Like you're always turning it over. Um, and the blue colour is just a, <laughs> like a design element, it actually just makes everything quite neutral because if you look inside of it, it's all really quite highly, highly coloured. It's multi-layered narratives in there. Mm. Some you will get, some you won't get, but that's the whole fun of it. And I'm not going to tell you what anything and everything means, I think it's more fun than people, people tell me.